evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's city council meeting. This meeting is called to order. I kindly ask our city clerk to please take the roll call. Bruno? Here. Burkhart? Is out, right? Correct. Ruby? Here. Caven? Here. Kilberg? Here. Kasarag? Kasarag here. Maladra? Here. Marks? Here. Mayor? Amy, can you hear us? Mayor? She just turned her stuff on. Mayor here. And Swanson. Here. Ladies and gentlemen, we begin our council meeting with the Pledge of Allegiance. And I would like to ask three gentlemen to please lead us in the pledge. Mr. Rios, Mr. Shion, and Mr. Skolnick. And we will follow your lead. Far, this isn't going well. <laughs> Whenever you gentlemen wish to start, we'll just go ahead and follow you, okay? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yeah. Well, Chief, you picked three people that know teamwork real well. <laughs> Folks, we have a, a, some business to attend to, of course, and some um, celebratory business to get through with respect to swearing on our new officers. But I did want to draw your attention to those who perhaps noticed as you uh, came to City Hall this evening, our City Hall is awash in blue light. And we are awash in blue light in solidarity with and in love for our friends and neighbors in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Uh, they have chosen to flood their buildings with blue light as a symbol of uh, support and getting through the tragedy they experienced not long ago. So Geneva wants to recognize our sympathies and our support for them, hence the blue lights. So with that, folks, we get to administer the oath of office to our police officers. Our first officer... Mr. Rios, we invite you to come to the podium, sir. Now, I've got a backstory about this guy. And this is, this is a good story, isn't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> do you remember what that date was? I do not recall. It was about a month ago, right? No. I don't, think, I don't believe so. <laughs> You're on TV, sir. You're on TV. So, okay, let's say three weeks ago. Let's say three weeks ago, I came out of my office here at City Hall, and you were here at City Hall. And you said, excuse me, sir, uh, I'm here to interview to be a police officer with Geneva. And I said, oh, my God, you're in the wrong building. <laughs> Check. <laughs> so I offered you a ride to the, pol to the fire station for your interview, correct? Yes, sir. Did you ride with me? No, you escorted me. That's right, I did, because you wouldn't get in my car, right? Because <laughs> you had heard from staff, do not get into his car, just follow him there. But we made it. Yes, we did. And you said, as I walked you downstairs to the interview room, I feel good about this, I'm excited about this, I'm confident I'm going to make it. And here you are tonight. That's pretty cool. Have you been given the tour of where all the buildings are in Geneva? <laughs> Not yet, sir. <laughs> Do you know where the police station is, sir? Yes. Okay. You like to be called David? Yes, I do. Now, here's some cool background on this guy, man. Check this out. Your girlfriend's with you tonight, Katerina Zagreva. They have Mr. Rios and Ms. Zagreva have one daughter. Her name is Amelia Rios. And she is seven weeks old. Because I said, where's Amelia? Well, she's seven weeks old, moron. So she's at home. So, and we think she's sleeping, right? That's awesome. Your par are your parents here? They're not here. They're not here tonight. Mom and dad, Javier and Guadalupe Rios. Guadalupe. Guadalupe Rios. Brothers and sisters, you have a twin brother. I met this guy right there. You have two brothers and three sisters. Javier, Daniel. Jacqueline 
Evelyn and Gazelle. Wow. Now, where do you fall in that order? Um, the second youngest. Second youngest. Wow. According to this, you were born and raised in Glendale Heights, Illinois. Yes, that's correct. It's a nice community. Glenbard North High School, proud alum. Yes. <laughs> Is that, you went there too? Yeah. Craig got his GED about six weeks ago. From <laughs> <laughs> what year did you graduate, Mr. Malaudra? Long time ago. <laughs> yes, I wrestled for him. <laughs> Look at that, man. Hobbies include weightlifting, wrestling, and mixed martial arts. Now, I, I got to ask, man. Mixed martial arts. What's the what's the interest in that discipline? Uh, it's just a tough sport, and I enjoy the discipline and uh, the intensity of it. Yeah. And like to this day. I coach, uh, I help coach some wrestling at the Montini Catholic. Oh, you do? Um, so it's, it's something that's stuck with me, and I, I want to continue doing it. So you wrestled in high school, I presume? Yes. What weight class? 160. No kidding. And how did you do in high school wrestling? Not that well. <laughs> <laughs> True story, Mr. Rios. I wrestled for Geneva High School for six days. <laughs> I realized my talent laid elsewhere, so I actually got a job at Jen Ho. That's a true story. It was a, it was a great learning experience. It's a tough sport, man. Mr. Rio served in the Marine Corps, ladies and gentlemen, and also served in the hospital security role. Which hospital, may I ask? It's Glen Oaks Hospital. Oh, sure. Absolutely. What else should we know about you, David? Why do you want to be a police officer? I, I'm like honored, I guess I'm honored to be um, like a part of that, something bigger than myself. And uh, I enjoyed serving the community as well as serving the country. And it's something I'm not, wasn't ready to give up when I uh, exited the Marine Corps. And so working in the hospital, I met a lot of great officers and you know, like they inspired me to uh, go this route and I haven't looked back since. Oh, that's great. May I ask, um, during your days in the Marine Corps, where were you stationed? Camp Pendleton, yeah. California. And were you deployed? I deployed to Okinawa, Japan. Wow. Have you been assigned a officer for training purposes? Uh, not to my knowledge, sir. Chief? Not yet. Not yet? Craig, you interested? <laughs> no problem. Anything else you want to share with us, David? Uh, just, I'm happy to be here, and thank you all for being here and uh, allowing this to happen. Uh, it's, an, it's an honor, and it's a privilege, and you know, I, I'm very grateful for this. Now, are you off to the academy right away? January 3rd. January 3rd. So between now and then, you have the pleasure of doing what? Continuing to work and... Uh, helping my girlfriend raise our daughter. Wow. And how's Amelia doing? Well? Oh, yeah. She's, uh, she's growing. She's eating a lot. Um, she has her days where she won't let, she won't let us sleep. Or more her not sleep. Well, I think that's going to happen on night shifts, too. So that's going to... And is Amelia a family name? Uh, we tried to find something that was able to translate in... Spanish, Russian, and English. No kidding. So it was something that, uh, we, you know, we liked the name. We thought it was a beautiful name. It so is a beautiful name. We went with that. Well, that's really neat. Now, uh, the clerk, my buddy Roger here, is going to administer the oath. You are invited to invite anyone you wish to stand with you while the oath is administered. So, Mr. Rios, the floor is yours, sir. Whoever you would like to join you, it's up to you. And we will get out of the way. <laughs>
Congratulations, David. Mr. Chayon, are you ready, sir? <laughs> Curtis Paul Chayon prefers to be called Mr. Chayon. No, Curtis. Curtis with a K. Yes, sir. Life is good, man. <laughs> now, when your wife and mother-in-law walked in, I recognized your mother-in-law. So we've known each other for a long time. In fact, our nieces and your wife participated in dance class at Geneva Park District many years ago. I was unaware of that. Actually. You're unaware of that? Well, yes. <laughs> well, it's true. No, well, Madison is with us tonight. Hi, Madison. Of course, your mother-in-law is here, too. You have a dog at home named Bella. Yes, sir. What kind of dog is Bella? Uh, a lab retriever. Nice. She's about, she's seven months right now. Seven months? Yeah. Is she at home asleep as well? Uh, probably not. She's probably, probably chewing on something. So. Now, where do, you, where do you guys make your home? Where do you live? We're in Batavia. You're bulldog territory. Yes. That's where Madison went. To. Did you go to uh, Batavia as well? I did not. You did not. I know Madison did. Where did you go to high school? Wabonzi Valley. Cool, man. And I understand that you met at, the, uh, at Arizona. No. Aurora. Aurora University. Aurora University. Excuse me. Good Lord. Aurora <laughs> University. How did you meet? Well, um, she, she was living in a co-ed house, and one of uh, the guys that lived there was one of my teammates on the football team. Ah. So she had an eye out for me, <laughs> and she wanted me to go to a party that they were going to have that weekend. So he invited me. It was supposed to be secret, but he pretty much told me right away. She had an eye out for me. Yes. Now, is that your ego talking, Curtis, or is that? Uh, that's just a true story. That's a true story. And what position, what position do you play in football? Defensive end. And you played at Wabansi Valley as well? Yes, sir. You did. Hmm. Mom and dad are here tonight? My dad. Your dad's here? Yes. Where's Mike? Mike? Oh, there you are. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Barbara's here as well? She lives in Kentucky. That's my she, mother. Oh, nice. Cool, man. Is she tuning in? She is not. She could, you know. I did not know that. <laughs> you have a sister, Cammy Barry. Is Cammy here? No. She's in Kentucky as well. Oh, no kidding. Brothers Chris? And Riley. And Riley. In Kentucky. In Kentucky. Yep. Are you the oldest? I am second youngest. Second, oh, just like David. <laughs> yeah. Cool, man. Prior to tonight, did you and David um, and uh, Joe practice saying the pledge together, or was that just a total confusion on your part? <laughs> we just met each other tonight. So. You just, did you really just meet each other tonight? 30 minutes ago. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, that's exciting. Wow. <laughs> now, here's the good stuff. You were raised in Liberty, Kentucky. Yes, sir. Where about is that? It's about 45 minutes from the Tennessee border. So it's in oh, no. central Kentucky. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Very small town. Your hobbies include rugby? Yes. Do you play? Yes, currently. Forgive me for not knowing this. What rugby league do you play in? I'm in a men's league right now with St. Charles. Really? Where do you play? We play off of Peck Road, um, James O'Brien Park. So you're playing outside. There's no indoor well, league. We're not in season currently. Okay. Just an active player. So how do you describe a scrum to those who don't know rugby? <laughs> I'm not involved. Oh, um, We've got I don't have that much experience. Pardon me? So I would have a hard time explaining. What it, it is hard is. to explain, isn't it? Yes. So is that a natural transition then from football to rugby? Yes. For the most part. 
And there's something in your DNA that says to you, you've got to keep physical like that. Yeah, absolutely. It also says one of your hobbies is gym. Mm -hmm. What do you do at the gym? Just lifting weights and cardio. You ever seen Rios lift weights? I have not. <laughs> <laughs> you will soon, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, this is pretty cool, man. You worked at the Juvenile Justice Center as a youth counselor and court security officer here in Kane County. Yes, sir. Explain to all of us what a youth counselor is. Uh, essentially, I'm a correctional officer okay. um, with juveniles. Um, it's labeled as a youth counselor. Um, so basically, we just facilitate groups with them um, and just monitor their behavior okay. and do reports for them. And becoming a police officer is always a goal of yours? Yes, absolutely. Why is that? I've always had a need for wanting to serve my community. Um, as much as it sounds kind of corny, I've, I've wanted to do this since I was six, seven years old. No kidding. Yeah, so it's an honor um, to be here today. That's really neat, man. I truly feel blessed. It's gonna be exciting. Absolutely. Now, off to the academy as well? Yes, sir. And when, January 3rd? January 3rd. So between now and then, you just kind of hang out? Yes, I got to finish my, my last two weeks at my current job and just get ready. Do what I got to do to be mentally prepared. So Sheriff Hayne knows you're coming on board here, right? I'm not sure if he knows yet. Well, let's text I'll him. Be <laughs> okay. You're not sure if he knows yet? <laughs> I'm not sure. I only told my superiors. Well, this will be exciting, Chief. I'm not sure. <laughs> <if> I... <laughs> wow. Well, we're, we're delighted to have you. You, what sir. else do we know about you? Anything at all? I have nothing at this time that I can think of. <laughs> well, you, I know you were married in July. Yes, I was just recently married. Yep, you had um, a big party out in Polo, Illinois. Yes. <laughs> Who knows where that is? <laughs> Three no, people. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so I was married you... in July, and we just we bought a home in April. Our oh, you did? home in Batavia. Yes. Nice. Did you take a honeymoon as well? Yes. Where did you travel to? We traveled to Greece. To Greece? Yes. We stayed in Santorini and life, Athens. Life is good, man. Yeah. <laughs> isn't, that a, isn't that an unusual place? Yeah, absolutely. It's extraordinary, isn't it? I can't believe that. We did that. <laughs> yeah, isn't that wild? Mm -hmm. Now it's back to reality. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Greece, Batavia, I mean, <laughs> a lot of similarities. World there. of a difference. <laughs> yeah. yeah, a lot of sim similar weather pattern. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, Madison, you knew you were going to marry a police officer? I assume. You assume? What inspires you most about being a cop? Serving my community, interacting with the public. Um, I think I find some joy in that. I love just giving back. I've yeah. been doing that for years, and I feel like this position has given me that be the best opportunity to do just that. That's awesome. Well, as I indicated before, um, our clerk will be administering the oath, so I invite you to invite whomever you'd like to join you while you yeah. receive the oath. Dad. Look at that. And we're going to snap some photos of you, okay? Good job, Curtis. Make it official.
Is that right there for me? Thank Great. you so much. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Mr. Skolnick. How are you, sir? Good, how are you? You really just met each other 30 minutes ago, huh? We did. Isn't that wild? <laughs> what do you think of these two guys? They're pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, good response, man. <laughs> Earlier, Joe, you and I were talking, and I asked who your training officer would be. You said, gosh, you know, I have no idea. He's here tonight, sir. Yeah, I know he is. <laughs> so, hey, Russo, where are you, man? No, 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 no. Oh, so he's not here. He is. He is? Post us to the door. You got the name wrong. Oh, who's your training officer? Welcome. Oh, my Lord, really? Well, that's a, And you hit the ground on Thursday? Uh, yes, sir. Wow. What's the beat, do you know? Uh, I'm just working second shift right now. Any intelligence you want to share with us? <laughs> not to my knowledge. Not, not to your knowledge? <laughs> It's all classified information. You like to be called Joe? Yes, sir. Is Joe a family name? Uh, no, sir. I think I met Elisa earlier. Elisa Ross? You did. Welcome. <laughs> That's Joe's significant other. Brian and Teresa, I met them as well, mom and dad. There they are. And I met grandma and grandpa, too. You did. Very cool. Where are grandma and grandpa from? Tinley Park. Tinley Park, all the way here tonight for this? Absolutely. Holy moly. Are you going to give them a police escort out of town tonight? I might have to. <laughs> are you doing dinner afterward? Yes, sir. Where are you guys going? Uh, I don't know. I left the planes up to my mother. <laughs> Mom, what do you think? Well, maybe not dinner, but barrel and rye. Ah, yeah, that just closed. <laughs> it's a great place. Where, where are the other? Are the other officers also heading out tonight for dinner? Do you guys mind if they join you? <laughs> yeah, barrel and rice, top notch, top notch. It's three-hour parking, by the way, on Third Street. So if you park the car longer than that, it's not going to be bode well, man. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Got that? Brothers or sisters? Caitlin, Thomas, and Emma Lynn. Yes, sir. Are, I don't, are any of them with us tonight? Uh, Emma Lynn is here tonight. Where's Emma Lynn? Oh, yeah, I met Emma Lynn earlier. That's a, such a unique name. <laughs> is it, I'm assuming it's a hybrid after family? I think it was an, a character after uh, Army Wives. <laughs> <laughs> the character where? In, a, in an old Army TV wives? show called uh, Yes, Sir. I have never heard of that. Who's heard of that show? <laughs> Is that right, Emma Lynn? Who, who knows? Wow. Born and raised in beautiful Plainfield, Illinois. Plainfield Central Wildcats. Yes, sir. Joliet Junior College. Hobbies include, and we were talking about this earlier, traveling. So where do you like to travel to? Polo? <laughs> <laughs> I have not been there yet, but uh, oh, it's uh, it's it's unbelievable. <laughs> uh, last year, I went on a big snowboarding trip to Denver uh, and Keystone. Okay. It says you snowboard too. So you you're a serious snowboarder. Yes, sir. Your black diamond runs above black diamond. Above black diamond runs. What's what's above what's above black diamond besides sudden death? Uh, <laughs> very high degree angle mountains that are just super steep and um, pretty dangerous. And why do you do this? <laughs> For the thrill. <laughs> really? Now, did, uh, were, you a, were you a competitive snowboarder? No, sir. So you just do this for the joy of it? Yes, sir. Alisa, well, do you snowboard as well? <laughs> hmm. Where's your next snowboarding trip? Uh, probably local near Wisconsin. Our friend Joe was a community service officer, or CSO, <clears throat> Plainfield. Which, which high school? I went to Plainfield Central. And you were a CSO in Plainfield? Yes, sir. So did you know a lot of your classmates? Yes, sir. Wh while being CSOing? Yes, sir. And how was that? Uh, they didn't like parking tickets. <laughs> I can imagine, man. Yeah. 
Did you ever intentionally ticket someone just because you didn't like them in high school? No, sir. <laughs> Seriously? Yes, sir. It's between us. <laughs> <laughs> And a police officer in Braidwood, Illinois. Yes, sir. And you and I were talking about, that's an that's a unusual community, isn't it? Very unique. One could say that, yes. Yeah, very unique. <laughs> You've got, the, obviously, the nuclear power plant there. Yes, sir. And now here you are. Why Geneva? Um, the, uh, the community, the history, and... I did a lot of research on Chief, and I really liked what his background was. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you did a lot of research on the. Did this come up during the oral interviews? <laughs> on the second interview, yes, sir. Did, did it really? Yeah. How, how did you gracefully bring this up? I googled you, Chief. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> really? We have. I believe we have the same background, starting off in in departments and then yeah. coming to Geneva. Wow. That's, that's pretty cool, man. What else should we know about you, Joe? What makes you tick? Uh, being late. Did you say family? <laughs> Did he? Okay. okay. Let's, let's serious up, Joe. What makes you tick, man? Uh, family. I'm, Good Lord. What's like cutting? What do you call that when you're cutting in the snow? Not cutting. What's that called? Carving. Yeah, carving, whatever. Carving on the snowboard. Who's your favorite snowboarder? Sean White. Is it, is it really Sean? Yeah. Why? Uh, he's got, he's, he has a, a really good career in his upbringing. And um, kind of like how I started out, I just kind of grabbed a board and went for it. You started out with red hair? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to lose it now. <laughs> What else, Joe? Uh, nothing else, sir. And you want and, and your love of service? Uh, it started at a very young age. I did a cadet program at Point Field. Oh, you did? Cool. Yes, sir. And then uh, I got hired as a CSO and then uh, took the first department that wanted to send me to the academy, which is Braidwood. So. Wow. So when do you hit the ground running here? Uh, I believe Thursday. That's right. That's what you said earlier. And who's your training officer? I cannot pronounce his last name. <laughs> <laughs> training officer, come up to the podium. <laughs> How will Officer Skolnick refer to you during duty? Um, Jan. Jan. Yeah, probably about my first name. Because you tell everybody to use your first name because your last name is... Yeah. Challenging. But how do you pronounce your last name? Barkosh. Barkosh. Yep. Joe, repeat up to me. <laughs> Mr. Trainer Varkosh. Mr. Trainer Varkosh. <laughs> Have you ever snowboarded? Have you ever snowboarded? Yeah. Have you really? I ski and snowboard. Since you I do? Was, since I was three and a half, yeah. Oh, come on. That's serious. I grew up in the mountains. You grew up where? In the mountains in Poland. I did not know that about you. Yep. That's a, did you know that? Uh, no, sir. <laughs> should have done your homework on me like the chief. Yeah, no key. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you Google him? <laughs> Good Lord. Did you know the chief was a figure skater? <laughs> no? <laughs> okay. Joe, the floor is yours, sir. Our clerk's going to administer the oath, and you have the pleasure of inviting whoever you'd like to join you. I not know that about. I'm gonna take some pictures of you. Is that okay, sir? You can just take one step back. Okay. There you go, kind of in the middle. Thank you. Go on up.
job, Joe. There, please. Thank you. Welcome on board. So, Curtis and David, good luck at the academy. Joe, we'll see you on Thursday, right? Second shift. <clears throat> thank you, gentlemen, and for joining the Geneva Police Department. We appreciate it. And to the families, thank you very much for sharing the talents of these young men with us. We promise to take good care of them, just as I know they will take good care of us. So thank you very much. And if you need to leave to go to dinner, by all means, sneak out if you'd like. Strictly up to you. Remember the parking three hours? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next item of business is to hear from our friends on the Mountain Health Board and it's their annual report and presentation to the community. So we welcome its president, or excuse me, its chairwoman, and I know that she'll be introducing the other members of the board. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Mayor and City Council men and women. Thank you for giving the Geneva 708 Mental Health Board time to share with you an update and summary of this past year's efforts. It is with great pride and admiration that I introduce the board members to you this evening the continuity of service of these seven board, member, board members undoubtedly enhances discussions, actions, and decisions of the board. I personally continue to be encouraged and inspired with the level of dedication and compassion each member offers. Geneva 708 Mental Health Board members present tonight are Eleanor Hamilton. She's the vice chairperson and the liaison to our participation in the Association of Community Mental Health Authorities of Illinois. Christine Kautz, Jean Gaines, Rick Gabriel, Susan Finson, Connie Wagner, who is not here tonight, and myself, I am Susie Shogren. Uh, before sharing our report, um, the board would like to thank in particular City Administrator Stephanie Dawkins for her leadership, expertise, and guidance, Jean Fernari for her organization and communication skills, and Peter Collins and Kevin Starr for their technology interventions on the board's behalf. Our service to Geneva is truly a labor of love. We feel privileged to play a role in supporting residents who find themselves in need at a vulnerable time. Because of the support and financial commitment of the city, there are organizations ready to assist Geneva residents when it's needed most. As you know, our mission statement goals and objectives direct our efforts in continuing to support community mental health and funding, advocacy, and education. So here is a quick summary of our efforts in those arenas. <clears throat> our primary responsibility is to distribute funding to area service providers who meet the needs of Geneva residents seeking, seeking mental health, substance use addiction, or developmental delay services. In the packet of information given to you tonight, there is a list of service providers who completed the grant application and receive the suggested funding amounts noted. These organizations are the Association of Individual Development, Day One Pact, Eckerd Center for Behavioral Health, Elder Day, Fox Valley Hands of Hope, Fox Valley Special Recreation Association, Horsepower Therapeutic Riding, Lazarus House, Lighthouse Foundation, National Alliance on Mental Illness, Second Act Scene 2, Suicide Prevention Services, and Tri-City Family Services. The total amount of funding requested from these agencies amounted to $249,825. The $150,000 available for funding was allocated to these 14 organizations, and it brings much needed financial support to a plethora of services for Geneva residents. Some examples of these services provided are independent living, autism programs, permanent supportive housing, prevention of homelessness, crisis intervention, victim services, mental health treatment and recovery, behavioral intervention, health and wellness, eligibility assessment coordination and early intervention for developmental disabilities, overhead expenditures for operations, elder therapeutic day services, therapeutic recreation, substance abuse treatment and recovery services, 
mental health education, professional counseling and social work services, suicide prevention services, depression screening, hotline assistance, support groups, and consultation and referral services. This list is a sampling of the numerous ways all 14 organizations offer help when individuals and families are struggling or in need of guidance. Within the context of our present time of living in the midst of a pandemic, these organizations have worked tirelessly to provide desperately needed support to families and individuals. It is a tremendously, tremendously challenging time for those who struggle. On a national level, the CDC reports considerable adverse mental health conditions associated with COVID-19. People have experienced disproportionately worse mental health outcomes, substance use, and elevated suicide ideology. The impact of living with COVID is exponential when consideration is given to disease spread and the effect of having to live with the stress and anxiety of living in isolation, working remotely, experiencing illness or death or unemployment. However, on a local level, the Kane County Health Department completed a community mental health assessment, which is done every three years. The number one health need was to determine to be mental health, followed by access to health services. When Chief Passarelli spoke to our board in March, we were pleased to learn that 70% of officers have received critical incidence training. Chief Passarelli also spoke to the board about their partnership with the Association of Individual Development to provide mental health in intervention services through the work of a part-time social worker within the police department. Within the first three months of this year, there had been a 24% increase in calls involving mental health. The social worker assists the police when these calls arise from those experiencing a mental health crisis. The social worker is an essential part of follow-through care. The social worker has access to 26 different service providers, 13 of which receive mental health grant funds to assist Geneva residents in need of specific mental health care. Advocacy and education of mental health, substance use, addiction, and developmental disability is an important piece in making strides towards successful outcomes. Each year, the board relies on the advocacy leadership of the Association of Community Mental Health Authority of Illinois. They provide us information on what our local legislatures are doing at the state level on behalf of populations that we serve. Vision, policy, and directives of our legislature affects the decisions made, <coughs> excuse me, affects the needs of constituents and dialogue with local leaders help translate the realities residents face to decisions made on their behalf in Springfield. Being part of this community-based organization keeps us focused on what is needed most and helps us direct funding in accordance with need. Collaboratively, <clears throat> encouraging community education is best achieved in partnership. This past May, during National Mental Health Awareness Month, we turned to one of Geneva's best resources and willing partners, our high school students. Specifically, we supported the education and awareness efforts of Geneva High School's SAD Club and watched them master the art of lifting up community voice and in numerous ways share messaging. Their messaging included empowering sentiments, such as you are not alone, someone always cares, and that it is okay to talk to someone, lean in and ask for help. Hopefully you saw the lime green ribbons and bows that the students used to decorate the high school and city hall blocks, drawing attention to our need to care for our mental health. May 13th was designated Lime Green Day at the high school, where students were encouraged to wear the color of mental health and use, <clears throat> and as part of their warm-up uniforms for all sports team who had a home game that day. Students encouraged messaging of ways to help yourself, such as set boundaries early and hold on to them, focus on what you can control, move your body, stay in touch with family and friends, keep up self-care, maintain reasonable expectations, and ways to help each other, check in on each other, hold each other accountable for self-care, express gratitude, take time to laugh, pay attention to nonverbal cues, and lend each other support. Within the overall messaging, students were reminded that people need social connection, that there is power in shared experiences, and it is okay to be vulnerable with one another. It is important for individuals to prioritize and express their feelings and problem solve together. 
It is our board's hope that through education, advocacy, and funding, mental health stigma is erased and people ask for help when it is needed. Our efforts and those of the 14 organizations that receive funding want caring for one's mental health to be recognized as being as important as caring for one's physical health for total well-being. Thank you for your continued support as a city council in making sure Geneva residents have resources to access, especially now as we navigate a worldwide health crisis that has added to our need to prioritize mental health. Thank you, Madam Chair. You're welcome. Are there any questions or comments from the council for either our chairwoman or any member of the board? Alderman Kilberg, sir. Uh, I just want to thank you and your commission for uh, the excellent report and the excellent work that you've done this last year. Obviously, you've taken this, uh, uh, the mental health board to a new level, and uh, I commend you, uh, each and every one of you, for your efforts. Thank, thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, Alderman Mayor or Alderman Kosserog, any comments from afar? No, thanks. Just in, in parting, I'd really like to um, thank the students at the high school during oh. May because uh, I think the photos kind of capsulize the, uh, the uh, enthusiasm and um, true uh, authenticity that uh, they they want to express regarding supporting mental health and uh, it's neat to see with this uh, generation of students. Very, very. Alderwoman Ruby. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for the presentation also and you know you mentioned the high school kids. I have been so amazed by the kids you've had here in past years opening up and sharing their experiences and that's tremendous. I mean, most adults can't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm sure that um, they have the confidence to do that because of working with you. So I, to me, that, that shows kudos to your group. Oh, thank so. you. Thank you. You know, we're, we're inspired by their brave bravery and, and willingness. Um, it's, it's refreshing to see um, young people in our community absolutely be okay with talking about mental health. It's, and yeah, it, it's, it's the big hurdle, right? So we're thrilled. Yeah. And it is normal. It, yep. It's, I mean, really normal. <laughs> what is normal? <laughs> but it is. Right, right. We're yeah, all it, It's great to talk about. And yeah, I mean, the pandemic has just intensified everything. So I feel like your work is more important than ever. So thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. It's a terrific board to work with, I'll tell you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Stay warm. Ladies and gentlemen, moving on to item E, consider approval of special event application from Geneva High School for the Illinois High School Association Dance Sectional Competition, January 22nd, 2022. Is there a motion to approve this request? So moved. Alderman Bruno makes the motion. Seconded by Alderman Caven. Ms. Dawkins. Okay, so to clarify, we're not technically um, approving the special event per se. What, what the council is being asked to approve is street parking closures and city services to facilitate those closures as outlined in the special event application. So all the city departments have reviewed the application and recommend approval conditioned on adher adherence to snowfall parking restrictions for vehicles and buses if applicable. So again, if there were a snow event that day, kind of all bets are off, but if not, then we would close certain streets at their request. Uh, to facilitate the buses that are coming in for this event. Um, and I don't know if there's representatives here from the dance team or the school. Uh, Kathleen is here if you have any additional questions, but it's, it's a relatively straightforward request. Okay. Are there any questions or comments for the Director of Economic Development? 
If not, we do have a motion. And we have a second. All in favor of item E, the special event application and those elements that are related to the city services. To approve, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Yep. Got it. So approved. Thank you very much. Item four, folks, amendments to the agenda. Are there any amendments this evening? Item five is the omnibus agenda. All items marked with an asterisk can be considered as routine by this council, and those items can be considered in one motion. Is there such a motion? Yeah. Alderman Marks makes that motion. Second. Ooh. Alderman Swanson gets the second. <laughs> any questions or comments? Mr. Clerk, whenever you're ready, sir, please take the roll. Ruby? Aye. Gaben? Aye. Kilberg? Aye. Kasrog? Kasrog, aye. Maladra? Aye. Marks? Aye. Mayor? Mayor, aye. Swanson? Aye. Bruno? Bruno, aye. The omnibus agenda has passed with nine affirmative votes, zero nay votes, and one absent. According to my cheat sheet, we jump down to item number nine, <clears throat> other items and correspondence. 9A is to recommend acceptance of strategic planning workshop report and updated strategic plan document. Is there a motion? Kilberg. Alderman Kilberg makes the motion. Second. Seconded by Alderman Maladra. Ms. Dawkins. Okay, so for the council's consideration is the acceptance of the strategic planning workshop report in the updated strategic plan document, the report outlines the priorities for fiscal year 2023 as determined by the City Council and the SPAC representative at the workshop this past November. And then I would note that the strategic plan document was updated to add the term abilities to the quality of life vision objective three. The City of Geneva is recognized as an inclusive community that is welcoming to all, people of all ages, backgrounds, abilities, and ethnicities. In addition, there were action items that were updated to reflect those that have been complete. So if there's any additional questions, but it should just be pretty much a summary of what occurred at our workshop planning session on November 5th, I believe it was. Correct. Any questions or comments for Ms. Dawkins or anyone else? Hearing none and sensing none, all in favor of approving the recommended strategic plan workshop report and updated strategic plan document, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed, please say nay. Item 9A has been adopted with nine affirmative votes, zero nay votes, and one absent. Item 10, folks, municipal bills for payment. I kindly ask our city clerk to read the bills as recommended by the city administrator. Total bills are $2,807,152.26. Mayor Ivan. Mayor, I move that we approve and pay the bills as read. The individual items that add up to that amount can be found in tonight's city council packet. Alderman Bruno makes a motion to pay the bills as presented, which are available in our city council packet and on the city's website. Is there a second to that motion? Alderman Marks makes the second. Any questions, any comments? Mr. Clerk, whenever you're ready, sir. Kilberg. Aye. Kasarag. Councilor Agai. Maladra. Aye. Marks. Aye. Mayor. Mayor, aye. Swanson. Aye. Bruno. Aye. Ruby. Aye. And Caven. Aye. The bills for payment have been approved by this city council with nine affirmative votes, zero nay votes, and one absent. Folks, we jump all the way to item 12, presentation of ordinances, resolutions, petitions, and bids. Item 12A is to consider approval of ordinance number 2021-44, amending the Geneva Business Park planned unit development to allow, quote, animal rescue, not including boarding or kenneling, end quote, as a permitted use by right in the M1 zoned portion of the business park. Is there a motion to bring this to the floor? So moved. Alderman Marks makes that motion. Second. Seconded by Alderwoman Ruby. Ms. Dawkins. 
Okay, so uh, most of the information you need was mentioned in the motion. Um, so again, they're requesting an amendment to the Business Park PUD, Geneva Business Park PUD, to allow animal rescue, not including boarding or kenneling, as a permitted use by right in the M1 zone. At its meeting on November 11th, 2021, the Planning and Zoning Commission unanimously recommended approval of the requested amendment. Um, I do believe we have representatives from Starfish with us this evening and also Community Development Director DeGroote are present if you have any additional questions. Are there any questions for the applicant from the council? Alderman Mayor or Alderman Kosserock remotely, any questions or comments for the applicant? Is there anything the applicant would like to share with the community? Up to you. Sure. Sure. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, my name is Margie. I started a Starfish Animal Rescue in about 2007. We rescue animals out of two high kill shelters in Kentucky. So we've been in Batavia for about five years. Our building got sold. We're looking for a location where we can, we pretty much are not even in the building other than on a weekend where we use it for four hours to bring up animals, get them situated, and then go out to rescue groups and shelters. So we ourselves um, adopt out animals as well, cats and dogs, and um, there have been some people in uh, Geneva, obviously, in Batavia, St. Charles, all this area that have worked with us and adopted from us as well. So we're, um, you know, that's why we wanted to come in here and uh, find a place where we can work our magic. Oh, very nice, Margie. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Are it's there any fulfilling. questions or comments from Margie? May I call you Margie? Is that okay? Sure. Okay. Alder Woman Ruby. Thank you. I just wanted to say thank you for, for being here tonight and thank you so much for the important work that you do. I, I think it's tremendous. Thank you. Appreciate and this it. is from a new mom of a new dog. There you go. Yeah. Someone else here also adopted a dog from us, so that was very nice too. Oh, is that right? Oh, uh, yeah. Fantastic. We found that out at the last meeting, so oh, it was good to hear. <laughs> yeah, that is good to hear. Anyone else? Remotely, Alderman Kosarog or Alderman Mayor? Anyone else before we take the roll on item 12A? Mr. Clerk, whenever you're ready, sir. Kosarog. Kosarog, aye. Maladra? Aye. Marks? Aye. Mayor? Mayor, aye. Swanson? Aye. Bruno? Aye. Ruby? Aye. Cabin? Aye. Kilberg? Aye. With a vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and one absent, ordinance number 2021-44 has been approved. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We Congratulations. look forward to, to joining you in Geneva. Absolutely. Best wishes. Thank you. Item 12B, ladies and gentlemen, consider resolution number 2021-100 authorizing a change order with utility dynamics in the amount of $42,199.10 for the 2021-2022 underground electric cable replacement project. Is there a motion? Alderman Bruno makes the motion. Second. And seconded by Alderman Swanson, Ms. Dawkins. Okay. Uh, so during the cable replacement in the Lark Street area, it was discovered that the City of Geneva Electric Equipment is encroaching on the Union Pacific Railroad right-of-way. To alleviate the conflict, two transformers will be relocated along with conduit and electric cable board in from a different direction. The cost of the change order is able to be accommodated within the adopted budget for the 2021-2022 cable replacement program. Uh, we do have with us the Superintendent of Electrical Services, uh, Mr. Holton, if you have any other additional questions or need more specific information. Are there any questions or comments for Superintendent Holton? Remotely or here in the chamber? Hearing none, seeing none, sensing none. Mr. Clerk, whenever you're ready, sir, please take the roll. Maladra. Aye. Marks. Aye. Mayor. Mayor? Mayor, aye. Mayor, aye. Oh, okay. Swanson? Aye. Bruno? Aye. Ruby? Aye. Caven? Aye. Kilberg? Aye. Kasarag? Kasarag, aye. Resolution number 2021-100 has been adopted with nine affirmative votes, zero nay votes, and one absent. 
New business, folks, and public comment. I know we have some special guests with us tonight. I don't know if Alderwoman Ruby and Alderman Kilberg wanted to recognize our special guests first, and up to you. Yeah, thank you. I was gonna um, ask you guys if you wanted to come up to the podium. You don't have to, but if you would like to, you can be on TV. Look at the enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> I think they uh, need guys... to come to the podium that way. Tomorrow you can go back to Harrison Street School and be celebrities then. Yeah, you've sat there for, an, well, you've been sitting for an hour and a half in City Hall. I think, I think you should come up and say hello. Come on up, gentlemen. Can you How guys are you? introduce yourselves? Uh, I'm Jacob Haycox. I'm Bodie Mulligan. Welcome. We're, we're with PAC 111 out of Harrison Street School for Cub Scouts. And what grade are you gentlemen in? Fifth. Fifth. Ooh, ooh, next year's off to middle school? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are we going to middle school? North, north. North. Life is good, man. So uh, I understand when I came into City Hall tonight, I could hear a meeting taking place in this conference room back here. Yes. And it sounded, it was intense, man. It was like, <laughs> it was, I thought it was maybe a Putin-Biden call or something. It was like really, really powerful and passionate. What were you guys discussing? Uh, we were talking about why they wanted to be an alderman <laughs> and um, any issues facing Geneva. Are there any issues? The, like the police station yeah. one. Oh man, I should have had you up here earlier. When all the police <laughs> <are here. laughs> that is one, yes. And that they're gonna close down some of the road from Kurt to the bridge for the new roads turns. The 38 expansion. Oh man, yeah. And of course, during that time, all school is canceled. Did they tell you that? <laughs> Only at Harrison. Only at Harrison. Yeah. <laughs> Only at Harrison. How's school treating you guys? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is it kind of, kind of weird? Kind of. Kind of. But you're doing okay. Yeah. Are you? Do you guys want to be on the city council later in life? Mm, no. <laughs> after after that meeting, no way. <laughs> I tried. Do you know how old you have to be to be on the city council? No. No. You want to take a guess? 18. Very good. Why 18? Because uh, that's kind of when you turn into an adult. Well, that's debatable. Yes, <laughs> that's when you can vote. Exactly. Well done, man. Take tomorrow off. <laughs> what else should we know about you gentlemen? What do you guys like to do besides academics? Besides uh, studying and stuff? Fish. Who I says like fish? Me. Where do you fish? Uh, in water. <laughs> why, 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 Good answer. Come here. Uh, what is there a particular body of water that you enjoy most? A lake. A lake. <laughs> a lake. Wow. And, and is there a name? Is there a name of a lake that you particularly enjoy? No. No. What kind of fish do you like to catch? Bass. Don't say living fish. Bass. Ba oh, bass. Do you catch and release, or do you catch and then prepare and eat? Well, catch and sometimes prepare to eat. Okay, that's pretty cool. And you do all the what do you call it? <laughs> prepping of the fish? No. <laughs> Who does that? My grandpa. Seriously? Nice. How about you, sir? What do you like to do besides school? Uh, I like reptiles. You like reptiles? Yeah. What's your favorite? Uh, lizards. Uh, <laughs> and I trust you have lizards at home? I don't. Not you don't? Yet. No, I, I want one. You yeah. can't find them? What? You, you want one? Yeah. And is there a reason why there's a prohibition of lizards at your house? Uh, Should I ask Dad? We're not figured out with one yet, life expectancy, because up to 15 years, so through college possibly. Oh, good Lord, that's true. Yeah. Are you able to communicate with these lizards yourself? Is there a certain, like... No, not no. really. <laughs> so what's next in your future? What do you want to do when you grow up? Or, excuse me, when you become older? I, I want to be an architect. Oh, you do? Why is that? Uh, because I like drawing out house designs. Really? So fishing and architecture. No kidding. 
I'm not going to ask any questions about what kind of buildings you want to build because that's just going to be a, a parody after another. But <laughs> that's cool, man. Do you have architect architects in the family? No. no. That's a tough. That's a tough gig, man. That's tough schooling. How about you, sir? Uh, I don't really know. Not yet. Take your time. Yeah. Life is good. Maybe work at the zoo or something, huh? Maybe. Be a zoologist? Yeah. That'd be awesome. Anything else, gentlemen, you want to share? Or Alderman Kilberg or Alderwoman Ruby? Fellas, actually, you can go to the city's website in a few days, and you can actually see yourself uh, live in, or uh, on uh, this meeting's being recorded, and you can replay it again and share it with all your friends. Yeah. You're celebrities now. But just so you know, we're going to edit the part where you said water. <laughs> no. No, we're not going to. No, no, you're not going to edit that out. That's going to go viral, baby. That's going to be good. Alder Woman Ruby? Good luck, guys. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah, just thanks for coming. You guys, uh, you did well. You toughed it out. <laughs> so thank you. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Good luck in school. You too. You too. Stay in touch, okay? Okay. Right. Have fun. <laughs> Anyone else uh, new business, either from the dais or anyone joining us via telephone? No one uh, raising their hand online okay. at this time. Alderman Swanson, sir. Thank you, Mayor. I wanted to uh, give a public acknowledgement and thank you to the Geneva Rotary. Uh, every Thanksgiving, they do a cleanup of landscaping at a house in Geneva. This year on Thanksgiving, they did a cleanup on the east side. They had 43 volunteers, of which 25 were DECA students from the high school. So I, we appreciate that, and uh, it was a job well done. They got it done in two hours on Thanksgiving morning, and everyone could continue with their holidays. So thank you, Geneva Rotary. Thank you, Geneva DECA. Appreciate it. Hey, gentlemen, uh, guess what? Not you're supposed to answer what? What? Uh, the city administrator to my left took a cool picture of you guys at the podium. Is it okay if I tweet this out later with just your first names? Sure, yeah. Okay. Do you mind if I cut you out of the phone? I'm just kidding. Yeah, no. <laughs> Anyone else? Ladies and gentlemen from the council, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn the city council meeting. Alderman Marks makes that motion. All in favor, please indicate by saying aye. 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 And in just a moment, we'll convene the Committee of the Whole meeting. Ladies and gentlemen, without objection, we'll begin the Committee of the Whole meeting tonight. Let the record show that all the committee members are present, save for Alderwoman Berghart. Two of our members are participating remotely, Alderman Kosserog and Alderman Mayer. Number two on the agenda is to approve special Committee of the Whole minutes from October 25, 2021 and November 5, 2021, and the regular Committee of the Whole Minutes from November 1st, 2021. Is there a motion? So moved. Bruno makes the motion. Second. Seconded by Alderman Marks. Any questions? All in favor of approving those special and regular Committee of the Whole Minutes, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Items of business, folks. Item 3A, consider approval of certificate of acceptance for Riverbank Crossing off-site improvements. Is there a motion? So, so moved. Alderman Kilberg makes the motion. Seconded by Alderman Maladra. Ms. Dawkins. Okay, so for the ease of simplicity, I am actually going to just provide a summary for items A through D. Uh, they all relate to the Riverbank Crossings development project. The first two items are certificates of acceptance of both off-site agenda item 3A and on-site agenda item 3B improvements. Agenda items 3C and 3D are certificates of completion for the off-site and the on-site public roadway improvements. Um, and then the information is all in your packet, but if you have additional questions, we do have Director Babica here this evening who can address those. Any questions or comments regarding item 3A? If not, all in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed, please say nay. With nine affirmative votes, zero nay votes, and one absent, item 3A 
has been approved and will be advanced to the City Council for additional consideration. Item 3B, consider approval of certificate of acceptance for Riverbank Crossing on-site improvements. So moved. Alderman Bruno makes the motion. Second. Alderman Maladra makes the second. Anything else to add, Ms. Dawkins? No, sir. Any questions or comments? All in favor of the motion on item 3B, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Any, anyone opposed? With nine affirmative votes, zero nay votes, and one absent, item 3B has been adopted and will be advanced to the City Council for additional consideration. Item 3C, consider approval of certificate of completion for Riverbank Crossing off-site improvements. So moved. Alderman Bruno makes the motion. Second. And seconded by Alderman Marks. Any questions? Any comments? All in favor of item 3C, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? With a vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and one absent, item 3C has been approved and will be advanced to the City Council for additional consideration. Item 3D, consider approval of certificate of completion for Riverbank Crossing on-site improvements. Alderman Caven makes the motion. Second. Seconded by Alderman Maladra. Any questions? All in favor of item 3D, as in David, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Item 3D has been approved with nine affirmative votes, zero nay votes, and one absent. And this item will be advanced to the council, which, by the way, is December 20th, for additional consideration. And item 3E, folks, consider draft resolution authorizing the city administrator to execute the PACE subsidy agreement as presented effective January 1, 2022 through December 31st, 2022, subject to available funding in the fiscal year 22 and fiscal year 23 budgets. Is there a motion? Alderman Swanson, sir. Second. Seconded by Alderman Bruno. Ms. Dawkins. Okay, so um, this is an annual agreement. It provides subsidies for the City of Geneva to offset expenses for the Riding Cane program. The Riding Cane is a program that provides transportation access to seniors aged 65 and older and persons with disabilities. I would also note that we have a separate agreement that's also related to this that will be coming forward on the December 20th agenda. It just wasn't ready in time. Um, but again, these are annual agreements and this just essentially helps offset our costs. Any questions or comments from the committee? We have a motion and we have a second. All in favor of the motion on item 3E, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Aye. With a vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and one absent, item 3E will be advanced to the City Council on December 20th for additional consideration. Public comment, Mr. McCready, anyone joining us remotely? No one joining us online tonight. Anyone from the dais, any comments you'd like to share? If not, folks, I will entertain a motion to go into closed session on the setting of a price for sale or lease of property owned by the public body. Is there a motion? Alderman Marks makes the motion. We need a second for that, Mr. Yep. Second. That's right. Alderman Caven makes a second. <laughs> Mr. Clerk, please take the roll call, including our friends remotely, of course. Marks. Aye. Mayor. Mayor, aye. Swanson. Aye. Bruno. Aye. Ruby. Aye. Caven. Aye. Kilberg. Aye. Kostrog. Kostrog, aye. Maladra. Aye. With a vote of nine in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and one absent, we are going to into closed session for the purposes described in item five on the Committee of Whole Agenda. There is no action being taken this evening. To our friends joining us remotely, you have been instructed, as I believe you know, to click out and then click back in with a separate link we provided you. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, we will adjourn to closed session. We kindly ask those who are not participating in the closed session to depart with grace and style. Is there a motion to return to open session? So moved. 
Mr. Bruno makes the motion. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Alderman Caven. A voice vote to return to open session. Excuse me, I mean, roll call to return to open session. Sorry about that. All right, hang on a second. Okay. I threw an extra roll call in there. Yeah, I know. It just seems awkward to do two returns. I get paid the same way either Tell way. Tell me about right. what the hell that's like. One moment, please. <clears throat> return to open session. Correct. Was that Billy Bruno and Cave? Bruno and Cave. Yep. Burkhardt is not here. Okay, <clears throat> Mayor. Mayor, aye. Swanson. Aye. Bruno. Aye. Ruby. Aye. Caven. Aye. Gilberg. Aye. Kasarag. Kasarag, aye. Malaja. Aye. Marks. Aye. We're back in open session, ladies and gentlemen, unless there's anything new to share, questions to ask, comments to be made. A motion to adjourn this meeting is in order. Stephanie, do we have a meeting next Monday? Uh, December 20th would be the next meeting. Okay. Thank Who's you. There? Motion to adjourn by Bruno. All in favor of that motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 We're adjourned, folks. Thank you. Thank you.